Hello friends. Hi, uh, I'm Dr. Vinayak Rangan, mm-hmm. founder of Search Test and uh, Pediatric Surgery Resident. Uh, today I have with me Manali. And I'm very excited to have her here. Uh, she's a great student of ours and she's gotten rank 6 in INISS uh, urology exams. Uh, and I'm incredibly proud to have her. Welcome, Manali. Thank you, sir. So how does it feel to be on top? Um, so never expected a single digit rank. I feel really happy today. And even my parents feel really happy today. that i could crack a single digit rank in a, for a prime institution absolutely absolutely i'm proud of you too also manali so uh, tell me uh, why urology uh sir so basically i had my clinical postings uh, in uh, i mean in urology at uh, gmc nagpur and i liked how uh, it functioned like it's a broad spectrum so from ranging from uh, onco to transplants and it's a very versatile branch so with a quick turnover and quick relief for the patients Absolutely. also as a female urologist i feel like a lot of uh, female uh, symptoms are neglected by a lot of normal uh, uh i mean surgeons and gynecologists which are not picked up and so i felt like uh, i mean it's good that uh, these females can come to us and approach like they can come to us and approach for their problems and everything so yeah i was thinking like urology i and one thing sir i was always sure that i wanted to do urology absolutely i think i think this is a very interesting perspective because uh, i also generally feel that you know uh, women uh, require a special attention for their urological problems and i think there's a big scope for women in urology or women in overall in surgery also but a lot of scope for women in urology per se so really glad to have you here uh, manali because we don't really see too many women entering into surgical super specialties other than standard plastic surgery or pediatric surgery uh, where we see a lot of women it's great to see people entering into uh, urology neurosurgery so i'm i'm pretty excited about it so manali uh, tell me about yourself where did you do ug uh, pg and sr chef uh sir i did my undergrad from uh, lokmanya tilak municipal medical college sain hospital and i did my uh, post graduation from government medical college nagpur currently i'm working as a senior resident at uh, lokmanya tilak municipal medical college sain hospital only great 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 uh, so manali tell us a little bit about how such to help your preparation uh sir honestly i feel like search test uh, uh q bank is one of the best q banks i have ever sold and it's it's quite crisp and precise with the content and uh, i used to also watch the bailey tnd uh, video session i used to keep a follow up of all those uh, videos which were uploaded and uh, with the release of the new edition of bailey uh, uh, so it was quite helpful to get a hang of the entire bailey with those videos great 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 hey, and uh, um, what is your strategy for cracking exams uh, if someone is preparing for inss would you tell them to take a break from work or can they study with work because you studied along with sr ship and i think uh, that's pretty incredible so uh, tell us how this works overall uh sir actually i uh, for two months i completely uh, didn't work like i i took a leave for Great. two months uh, was that useful that break was useful yes sir definitely i feel like if i have to crack an exam like uh, if i have to crack an exam at least i need two months of proper attention and preparation and i need a proper strategy to uh, crack an exam so so my strategy basically was at least to have uh, three readings of whatever i am doing revision was an important key for me so uh, sir so my first reading was basically an integrated approach to study where i studied the content i watched the videos and then solved the q bank then my second uh, reading was basically a retrograde approach where i solved the mcqs first i figured out what i was uh, lacking in and uh, uh, what what i knew properly so i read accordingly and the third reading that i did was only the important mcqs that uh, i thought i had uh, bookmarked and uh, and the and the important points that i had uh, underlined in my textbook and i also i feel like an exam like ini it is really important to uh, solve at least 5 years of previous year recalls this year when i was giving my ini ss urology sir i realized that at least 20 to 25 questions were from previous year recalls 
Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so I think I should advise everybody to at least do uh, five years of recalls. Absolutely, makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. I think that's pretty useful advice, uh, Manali. And uh, one last final question before we conclude our short interview: What advice would you give to people preparing? Uh, so any, I, not just INSS. Yeah. Any exam. I feel like. Uh, I mean, for me, sir, I used to in a week, six days. I used to study for one day. I used to take an off. Like for me, I used to keep Saturdays light. I used to take a Saturday Saturday night off, and uh, I used to feel like uh, like avoid the peripheral distractions that you have. Con be be concise and be focused on what you want. And I think like even two months of preparation can yield a lot of uh, good results. So. <laughs> And okay. hard work, hard work is one thing that everybody has to do. Without that, nobody succeeds. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm so glad that you did well. I know that you're a hardworking student. We've been in touch before as as well. So uh, really glad to see you over here. And for all the students who are preparing for INISs, uh, my advice is pretty simple. Uh, you will have to spend some time reading the core concepts. So if you're reading for urology, go through the tables in Campbell. Uh, many of the previous year questions themselves are basically the Campbell repeats. Solve the MCQs on the search test uh, question bank, which is basically uh, a, a paragraph by paragraph condensation of the uh, uh, entire uh, latest edition of Campbell. As well as you know, to supplement your preparation, you can use the uh, urology videos. Also, what I would also advise for anyone preparing for INISs is that everyone who's serious about INISs prepares for the specialty well. Where people actually get a competitive advantage is the general surgery part, which is where most of the INISs candidates uh, relax a little bit. So if you're preparing your general surgery part really well, you don't miss out those 20, 25 questions uh, which come in general surgery. I would say it's absolutely criminal if you miss those questions out because those are easy questions. They are not very uh, uh, tough questions, but you will have to prepare well. Use your question banks, use your video lectures well. Uh, just like Manali told, uh, the daily test and discussion videos are available. So you know you can use these resources to uh, supplement your preparation. And most importantly, hard work definitely pays. And I'm so glad to have you, Manali. Do really well. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.